Hey guys, it's Penelope here and today we are going to be looking at some of Cura, Cura, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, this thing. We're going to be looking at that because honestly, I think it's much better than Reddit. You know, it is chef's kisses, um, some of the stuff that people post on there. They're just completely deplorable and we're gonna talk about them for your entertainment. So sit back and enjoy. I just have a few here with me, so it's gonna be a short video um, that I'm using my laptop. So the first one says, my children are vegan and my mom watches my children while I'm at work. She keeps feeding them animal products. How do I tell her to stop? Okay, got some bad news for you. Um, your kids are not vegan you're vegan and you are forcing your ideas onto them. Just because you like to live a certain way doesn't mean your children should. Like children need nutrients and they need all those nutrients. Like, have you ever wondered why animals in the animal kingdom don't choose to be vegan or gluten-free or, you know, whatever? Um, it's because they need those nutrients to develop, to grow, to, you know, be healthy enough to do what they need to do. And the exact same with human children. They need those nutrients. So my advice to you would be stop trying to force your lifestyle. If they reach an age where they decide to become vegetarian or vegan or whatever, sure, but babies, children are not naturally vegan. No. My mother-in-law invites me out places and then makes me pay for everything myself. How can I politely tell her that this isn't okay? Okay, this is really like manipulative behavior. And I would say, because I know a few people like that in real life, um, basically just cut her out, you know? Don't, you don't need to be good. Because also, how rude is that? Like, imagine saying to someone, hey, let's go, like, I'm going to take you out shopping. And then at the end of when they get to the till, they're like, oh, you pay for it. Like, girl, get out. Like, no. Cut that person out of your life. Do you think it is okay to steal a pet if it's being abused? Yes. That is my short answer. Um, it is perfectly okay to steal a pet from someone who is abusing that pet. Um, next one. How do you feel about people treating their pets like it's their child? <sighs> oh boy. I despise this. <laughs> I really, really, really hate it because it's like, it's not your child. A human child would be your child. People who refer to themselves as mommy or daddy when they have no children and are actually referring to a pet infuriate me. Okay, because you're not its mother. That pet has a mother. You took it away from its mother so that you can live with it in your sort of world where you're this god. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like, no, just, I, I forgot the question, actually. Um, yeah, I just, I hate it. I hate how people are with their pets. I hate baby talk. I hate treating pets as if they're children. They're not, it's an animal, you're looking after it. And yeah, you can love it and cherish it and cool, but just don't be gross, okay? Don't take it too far, it's not your child, okay? Just don't be gross. What is the next one? My boyfriend of almost three years tells me I already do wife stuff because we live together and have a baby. Would it be wrong of me to ask why he hasn't proposed? Um, no. So it wouldn't be wrong if you'd ask. It'd be stupid of you to ask because uh, he's given you the answer. He's literally said, you already do wife stuff. And like men are quite simple. They like to do the, forgive me, but they do like to do the bare minimum. So if you are living with someone you have a baby with them, which implies you've already done the devil's tango. Um, you know, why is he gonna, like, why would he feel the need to put a ring on it and get that commitment when he has already reached wife 
level status with you, you know? Whereas like you see other couples where, you know, they become boyfriend, girlfriend, and then they get engaged and they get married and then they have children and they do things in that order because, you know, that man sees, okay, I value this woman and I want to get to the next step with her. Whereas you are allowing him to get up, like step all over you, get every single access um, without putting a ring on it. So he's just, why would he, that would be unnecessary to him to do that. So yeah, you've answered your own question there. Should I be worried if my fiance hit my son, 18 at the time, while in an argument? It was pretty severe and consisted of him putting him in a chokehold. It was really traumatic for my children, but he apologized, what should I do? Um, huge red flag. I'm tired of seeing all these red flags like, oh, if he's a Sagittarius, like, no, this is a red flag, it's a real red flag. So someone who is happy to put hands on your children and is comfortable hitting them, get out, get out. You do not need to be in a relationship with someone who is very comfortable hurting your children. No, there's like discipline, but this does not sound like it was in a disciplinary, you know, capacity. So yeah. Anyway, guys, that was it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will have more videos like this in the future. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't. Um, like, comment, let me know what other like videos you want me to do, things you want me to review or talk about. And yeah, that's it. Peace.